What's up guys, it's AJ Shadow Mick here, back again with a brand new series, for well, a walkthrough series, to my YouTube channel, which is Pokemon Emerald. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just really never got around to doing it. But anyway, let's hop in. So I will be reading the text for you guys, instead of you guys just reading. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our close, 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 closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? boy or a girl? I am clearly a boy. Alright, what's your name? Um, so if you don't know, my real name is Aaron, by the way. But um, I think just for this playthrough, I'm going to put AJ Shads. If it can fit, yes, it can, it can. You're AJ Shanks, who's moving to my hometown of Little Rio. Um, I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams and adventure, where dreams, adventure and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Um, so basically for this video, I'm um, actually, I don't think I will go to the first gym. I think I'll just go to the first, the first town. Actually, it, de it depends on how I'm feeling. So it's a still a possibility that I will go to the first gym. But I always do lots of training before to like get my Pokemon up to like, let's say level 10. Or level 8, just to make sure. But anyway, mum. AJ Shads, I'm just gonna say AJ. AJ, we're he we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. There has been a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And to get to your room, AJ Shards, let's go inside. I'm, I'm not feeling like reading this, but for you guys, I'm gonna read it. See, AJ? Isn't it nice in here too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. AJ, your room is upstairs. Go and check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move in. Don't forget to set it. Um, so really, for this, yeah, it kind of seems a bit bad. How the movers don't do anything, but the Pokemon do. I'm gonna set the time to 12pm. And in the comments, so I don't forget, just, tell, just write 12pm if you made it all the way to the end of the video. AJ, how do you like your new room? Good. Everything's put away neat. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all where it is. Everything's all there on your desk. 
so basically I think they say that just so that you can go into your PC go to item storage then take out a potion I think that's why they say that it's just because anyway oh AJ oh AJ quick come quickly Look, it's Petal Bird, Petal Bird Gym. Maybe your dad will be on. We bought this to you from a report from the front of Petal Bird Gym. Oh, it's over. I think dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes. One of dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door. You should go over and introduce yourself. What I find so funny is how the dad's just called dad and the mum's just called mum. Like they weren't given a name or anything. I find that's funny. Anyway. Oh, uh, hello. And you are? Dot, 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 dot. Oh, you're AJ. Our new next door neighbour. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. It's so weird, like her name's May, but they don't mention her b by her name. They mostly just say, oh, our daughter, which I think is quite weird. Huh? Who are you? Oh, you're, a oh, you're AJ. So, your move was today. Um, I'm May, glad to meet you. I, I have a dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I, I heard about you AJ from my dad Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice. AJ, I was hoping you would be nice AJ and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly isn't it? I've just met you AJ. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. AJ, I'll catch you later. You see the fun that they did there? Yeah. But anyway, let's head out and... I guess let's go and get our first Pokemon. I would have done a thing in the comment section below. But I've had this team planned out from so long ago. I just never got around to doing this game. But anyway... Um, hi! There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Cute little girl. Hello, you over there. Please, help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. So that this is how we're going to choose our first Pokemon. So there's Torchic. Mudkip and Trico. I'm going to choose Mudkip the Mudfish Pokemon because the moves that this little guy gets when it evolves into Swampert is literally amazing. Like it's so it turns into a water ground type which that's like a really good mix. And he can learn a wild variety of moves. But anyway, let's go for, the, for another tackle. And let's go for another tackle. There we go. We defeated the Wild Super Zoom. And we got 17 experience points. Phew. I was in tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh. Hi, you're AJ. This is not the place to chat. So come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? So, AJ, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a, with a plumb, plumb? I, I can't tell what this is. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, thanks for rescuing me. 
I'd like you to have the Pokemon you, you, you used earlier. AJ received the Mudkip. While you're at it, why not give a name to the, to that Mudkip? Um, this is gonna be like, the name of this Mudkip is gonna be like, a tribute to one of my favorite YouTubers that does Pokemon gaming, Purple Audrey. And that I'll give the name to Tara. I spot it wrong. I don't know if you can hear that, but that sounds really bad. It's like a vibration noise. Don't worry, by the next video, I would have gotten rid of that. Oh, whoops, I skipped it. Um, and gain experience. I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. AJ says, why don't I, th don't you think it might be a good idea to see May? Yes. Great, May, May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. So basically what they want us to do now is they want us to go through that grassy area there to get to May and have a Pokemon battle with her. But along the way, I will be doing some training. Like, I'll probably stop, yeah, I'll stop here and one more time after this just so I can um, train up. Go Katara. Let's go for the tackle because I just want to get like another move so that I'm not too like, weak. Because there's a 90% chance I'm going to get my butt whipped if I fight her at level 5. Actually, not, not really. It's a 50% chance. But I prefer to be prepared, so I'll probably um, level up to about level 8. Yeah, and then I'll definitely make sure that I'm about level 10 for the first gym. But anyway, Wild Poochie and everything. Let's fight, let's just go for the tackle since that's our only physical move. It goes for attacking. One more tackle and it should be done. It's on like 3 HP, so there we go. Fainted 15 HP. We grew to level 6. Oh, good. We like mud slap, so that's good. Just need water gun. If we can get water gun, then we'll be fine for a while. I really want to learn mud shot, though, because that's a decent move. Actually, yeah, since there's a Pokemon Center here, I will train up to um, about level 8 now if I can. Oh, we restored your entire Pokemon's full health. Would you like us to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Okay, we'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Uh, long. We've restored your Pokemon's full health. I hope to see you again. Well, um, actually, no, I'll just quickly go on because. I don't want to like waste too much of you guys' time, but I do hope that you guys do, do enjoy this video, it'll be lovely if you do. I've never actually encountered a Wingo in this area before, I've only, I only encountered like zigzagoons and stuff like that. Now I'm just going to say now, if I do see a run into a Pokemon in the wild grass, I probably will fight it unless I don't need to. One more tackle, and this guy should be finished. I know, I'm kind of recording late at night right now. Um, so this part should be uploading by tomorrow. Or I might upload it by tonight, I don't know. It just depends. And then the part two should be uploaded by Tuesday. So I don't know. Anyway, Wild Wing got uploaded. Again, let's tackle it. One hit KO. We just took it down to our club. Good enough anyway. What I don't get is how a level 2 wing goal can learn a water gun, but a level 6 mud kit can't. Don't make sense. Anyway, let's tackle again. The wild wing goal. 
<laughs> Actually, level 7 might be enough. Yeah, because Maze is just there, so level 7 might just be enough. Right, level 7 should be enough. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just realised um, we're not going to be able to reach to the second, to the first gym, I mean. Because I think it's like quite a way away. That is quite far away, so it's going to be quite hard. Anyway. Thank you. But anyway, I will be uploading a channel up, my channel update soon. We'll have like all the stuff that I am planning to do in the future. I'll soon I'll be getting my Elgato capture card. Um and then I'll be doing some games on my Xbox and stuff like that. But anyway, um, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what of what being a trainer is like. So clearly she's gonna build, have like the stronger Pokemon type. So she'll have a Pokemon, yeah. And that because it's a grass type and a water type, it has a type advantage. Anyway, let's start with the tackle. It uses power. Tackle again. Actually I don't wanna risk it. So I'm gonna use a place the potion, but I've got my only item in my bag. Now I've got the new items. We used another palm. Sometimes I forget that it um, stays on the same thing. But anyway, the Liberty Toast fainted. 69 XP. Level 8. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any Pokemon, any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. So basically, all they want you to do now really is they just want you to run back to the lab. So I'm just going to fast forward here. So you can get back there quite quickly as well. Because I don't want to make you guys just sit there and ask you why. So, let's go back to my feet. Oh, hi, AJ. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping me with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a Pokemon trainer already. Here, AJ, I ordered this for my new research, but I think you should have this Pokédex. AJ received the Pokédex. The Pokédex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokémon you meet or catch. My kid mate goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokémon and records its data in the Pokédex, why? May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, AJ, you got a Pokédex too. That's great. Just like me, I've got something for you too. So uh, you get five Pokéballs just to like, so you can have a good chance of catching some Pokémon. Some Pokémon are really annoying. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, we've got that, and let's just carry on. My team will be my team will vary throughout the different um, stages. I mean throughout the would like I'm I i can not even speak right now. My team like it will change quite a bit. And every two episodes or so I will do like an update on what on like my team's levels and stuff like that because I will be grinding off screen. But anyway, so you basically just press B and then you run. So I'm going to start running now because that's the easiest thing to do. And I kind of want to just quickly get through this. Now I'm not going to fight any of these Pokemon just because like, I'll probably end up one-hitting them. 
right now. I guess I'll be quick XP, but there's no point at this rate. I just really want to get to level 10, so then if I can land it, hopefully, I'll be able to take on the first gym battle. But anyway, that's the worm who's dead. Can we get XP? See, it didn't really give me that much XP, but let me, anyway, let's just carry on. Keep running, man. So yeah, at first that guy was just standing in the way, but he's moved now. And now we get into real areas where you can like gain levels, which is fighting Pokemon battles. So you see these everywhere. If you've heard about Pokemon, I'm pretty sure you don't know what that is. But anyway, a level five creature now. Let's go for the tackle. That took a nice amount of damage. He only did three damage, not that much. Let's go for the tackle again. He uses the tackle. I have no other moves that I can use for on this Pokemon, so yeah. When I get to level 10, I'll get also gun and that can one hit. Well, that could probably one hit. Okay. Anyway, we beat Youngster Calvin. Ah, oh, I lost. I should have trained mine more. AJ got 80 for winning. Also, Pokemon battles are really good because you get money for it, and money comes in handy when you're doing gym battles and stuff like that, so you can get, um, like, potions and stuff like that. But anyway, let's keep this up. Get this battle, yeah, get it. Level four. Um, let's go for the tackle. I missed. Our first miss already. Normally whenever I watch YouTubers do Pokemon games, they miss after like their first gym or during their first gym, but I missed before it. That's good. But anyway, let's go for another tackle. I'm going to have to heal up my Pokemon soon, um, because this moves are starting to go down. Anyway, got 45 XP. One more level and we will have Water Gun. I don't know the exact levels for um, learning certain moves, but all I know is that the moves that this little guy gets is really good. I, I, I honestly don't know its nature, but I can't really start because I've already started, so no point whatsoever. And one for to 45 XP. Wow. One word for one for give, gave me that much. Experience points. It's mad. Oh my gosh, I, I think I've actually been recording for quite a long time. I'm. I was thinking about catching this, catching a Latad before, but because I've got Katana, Katara right now, I don't need it because that's just a water grass or something like that. Anyway. I don't know. Um. So, like, you know, Pokemon Moon. Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, I think what would have been good for a starter would have been if um, Litten, if it was like, I don't know, instead of it being a fire dark type or a fire fighting, it could have had like a weird combination like a fire ghost or um, what's it, what else? We've never had a fire dragon type before, that would have been a cool type that they could have added. But anywho, they could have had that Rowlet. I really did like that. It was a grass flying first, then it was a, then I, I towards the end it became a grass ghost, and I thought that was really cool. And I like Coplio's um, evolution thing to where it becomes a water fairy. But I feel like for Coplio, it probably could have had a nice change right in between. Like in between, it could have gone to like I don't know. Um, because it starts off as a water type, then it goes to um, with fairy and stuff. But I feel like in between it could have been, I don't know, um, like, let's say, I don't even know. Maybe like, oh my gosh, I actually don't even know. I just feel like they could have done something a bit different. Um, okay, come on. Anyway, yes, we reached level 10. And we learnt water gun, finally. That move is so good for where we are at the start of this game right now. But anyway, it's going to come in handy against this tail tail And I will be catching one of these Pokemon. I love, I love this Pokemon so much. It's one of my favourite bird types. 
flying times. I don't want to say flying times. But anyway, we defeated Youngster Ali. Um, my second Pokemon I will be training off screen because I don't think you guys want to just sit and watch me run into run through grass and training off my Pokemon. That would be boring. But anyway, um, I'm thinking that if it becomes too much to like um, train them in grass constantly, I might just use a rare candy cheat if it's necessary. If it's necessary, not I will if it's necessary. But yeah, I feel like I might catch a Rolt just because it'll be quite a strong Pokemon, especially since it'll be a psychic type as well. So against the fighting type gym with the dad, it'll come, so it will like do really well. But anyway, let's go for the water gun. Shroomish. Oh, I'm catching this Pokemon as well. J just so you know, ahead of time, I'm definitely catching this Pokemon because it's such a good Pokemon. It becomes a grass fighting, and because of that, it learns. It can learn like Mega Drain and Sky Uppercut, and those are good moves. So anyway, let's go for a tackle. And I know right now it has absorbed this guy's Pokemon. And that's that, that kind of annoying because it's draining my health and giving it to him itself its health back, and it's annoying because I need my health to take on the rocks I'm going to be looking for right now. Come on, please! I need the rocks and uh, Poochiano. I'm not going to use this Poochiano. I'm not even going to catch it. I guess I could for like for it to be like a hatred slave or so. But no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Come on, Rolts. Rolts, Rolts, Rolts. And I know there's such a small um, catch rate for this Rolts as well. So I'm not, it's not guaranteed that I'll actually run into it. But I'm dying to run into it. Like, literally. Oh, please, please, please. Another Zigzagoon, like, that's the thing. Out everywhere in the game, a Zigzagoon. It's the, probably the Pokemon that you'll run into the most. And they're the most useless Pokemon unless you just use them as HM slaves. Well, come on, please, Rolts, Rolts, Rolts. A low tide. That's the first time I've actually seen a low tide on this um, patch of grass here. But anyway, that's not even the Pokemon I want, so let's run. Come on, Rolts, please. If I can't catch it in this video, I'll just catch it off screen. Anyway. He's getting on my nose. He's really good this Pokemon. I'm just gonna speed it up now. Freaking low time days. All I want is a thing. Let me plug in the charger quickly. Where is it at? Where is it at? anything is making it worse but let's just run oh my gosh please rolls and another freaking low time Let, let's just not right now i can't do it i'll catch it off screen and because i like the name god war i'm not gonna change 
but let's head to the DC. Um, yeah, like I said, I wasn't sure if we'll be able to make it to the first game today. But anyway, let's just rest up this Pokemon. <laughs> 